Hello, this is Chris, back again with another video. When I crashed my Bebop, I was devastated. But then, a 3D printer and the internet saved the day. Here's my little jerry-rigged do-it-yourself floaties. I have not tried it in the water, all right, but uh, I'm gonna try it down there. Seems like it's pretty calm, calm day, and we'll see what happens. I'm scared, I'm so scared. But anyway, it's a pretty cloudy day and I just wanna test this out. I've been wanting to test this out for a while. I also have uh these balls that that i made for the mavic so anyway if you want to look i just slip them over the styrofoam balls and then i spray paint in them black all right i'm gonna get her closer here to me and i'm gonna land in the water but you can see that it's having a ripple effect down there let me zoom in okay Hold on to your butts and balls and whatever. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, it is floating. It did it. It did it. All right, I'm not going to do it anymore, but it did it. Okay. Very cool. This is going to be used for emergency landings only but you have seen it. Whew. I'm gonna raise her up. Okay, so I got her back now, and you know, it's still a bit wet there. Uh, nothing got wet underneath, fortunately. But um, there was a bit of a dribble on the battery, like right here but uh, my hand rubbed it out, but <laughs> anyway, um, nothing hit the camera or anything. Uh, I did have a, a slight malfunction because I was going from my, because I was using my phone uh, as the F, uh, first person view, but then I took it off as you, as you saw. The transfer didn't go very well, so I'm hoping that uh, the video is gonna be okay when I get home, but uh, coming from the drone. But the, these are the little things that uh, happen when you try to use your phone as your main uh, recording d device. And uh, so I, I think I just have to bring another camera with me because I think there was something wrong with the, with the interface of me switching from Free Flight Pro to my camera on my phone. But anyway, uh, I did get the video. And so I haven't quite perfected it, but... Basically, it fits right over the feet. Here's one of the balls right now. Let me put this down. And, oh, here we go. So basically, I 3D printed this part, and it's a, and then after that, it's just a very narrow part that comes to the bottom, and then it has this little cap at the end of it. So I stick it right through the styrofoam ball, and then I put this cap I glued it on. So uh, I saw something on the internet that uh, had a picture of it and that kind of gave me the idea of what they did. And then um, I 3D printed it. Um, I designed it on Tinkercad. It's very doable with uh, ABS or PLA. Um, there's probably other filaments that are good. Um, this is still a work in progress. It does fit over the feet quite snugly, but 
um, I haven't tested it in heavy winds. So um, I've also done this with the Mavic uh, Pro, um, but again, I'm not going to land my Mavic Pro in the water unless it's an emergency. Uh, but I do take off occasionally uh, on snow. So this gives you the extra clearance for that. Um, and I do plan to make a catch handle for the for the Mavic Pro. I don't think I can do it for the Parrot Bebop, but I will try and do something. But I, I don't think it's a, a very good idea with the Parrot Bebop. With the Mavic Pro, there are some options. So anyway, just having some fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and more videos to come.